This morning in the Atlanta airport, no one's missing a meal on Mac Wilburn's watch. With 11 restaurants to serve passengers, he's got dining for every destination. And it all started when Mac talked with First Horizon Bank about opening a franchise in the airport. Now it's open for business and cleared for takeoff. First Horizon Bank, let's find a way. Go to firsthorizon.com slash Mac. First Horizon Bank, member FDIC. All right, everyone. Welcome back to the Potted Together podcast. <laughs> <laughs> come one, come all. <laughs> come one, come all to the freak show. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Pot It Together podcast. My name is Becca, and I'm joined by my co-hosts, Adam and Nicole. Woo! Hello. Hi, Hello. everybody. I mean, <laughs> Hello. Um, wow. So we have had an interesting day, yeah, <laughs> to say the least. And the day has been so interesting that we are not doing a plant topic today. So... <laughs> If you are a person who leaves comments that says, Wah, where is the plant talk? <laughs> <laughs> Just spare yourself. And I, I mean that in, in the best way. I'm not making fun of you because I get it. You think it's a plant podcast and then we're just talking about poop or whatever. Peeing in a bottle. <laughs> That's a little jarring. I get it. Believe me. So I'm just warning you that today is an episode that is completely derailed. And um, yeah, that's that's the disclaimer. <laughs> it's also so anyway, 7 um, p.m. Yeah. <laughs> we're not used to this. Yeah, we're recording at night and we were going to have a very serious topic, but <laughs> it just doesn't feel right to be recording a serious topic at 7 p.m. It just feels like we need a party. Yeah, it's sure Thursday, <laughs> dark outside. Friday Eve. Yeah, like I'm not talking about taxes on a Thursday night. Like what? <laughs> no Hell taxes no. on Friday Junior ever. <laughs> Never. So yeah, we're just going to be talking and... Adam just got back from a big trip. We, we need to hear all the details. Uh, it looked insane. You were on a floating city, basically. Like, yeah. I, after seeing this, you, okay, this cruise, you kind of took us along more on, like, the day-to-day. -day, yeah. Which I have to say, loved it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> as you. As a, as a fellow content creator, that was very good. Um, <laughs> it was just interesting to, like, see what you were doing day-to-day, -day, like, quick snippets. Yeah. And... It made me want to take a cruise. Yeah. Did it? It did. Yeah. And like, hey, I'll, I'll go on a cruise eventually someday. But that made me be like, wow, this would be so fun. Yeah. So it was, it was I, let's hear time. about it. I remember DMing him and being like, how many bars does this cruise have? Like, it's amazing mm -hmm. to see like how much they can fit on a ship. You know? Oh, just, my gosh. Yeah. It this blows thing my was... mind. This thing was huge. And the reason Nicole said that is because one day, like, you know, you have sea days on a ship because you have an itinerary, but some days it's just like a full day at sea. And I told Steve, like, I feel like I was editing our first vlogs and I still love them, but we're both trying to get used to being on the camera and like a, a style. So there's some growing pains. And I was like, we have to have some kind of thing to do. And I was like, what if we drink around the ship? Like, what if we go that whole day? And, like, hit hop. all of the bars and kind of talk about the vibe of the bar because they all have a different theme or a vibe. And then also, you know, but we got a, got a little drunk and then had to take... <laughs> I'm excited to see that vlog. <laughs> we had to take a mid-afternoon nap. So, <laughs> after we got into a fight. But, like, our... It's oh, funny because, no. like, <laughs> Steve and I never fight, <laughs> and we don't really even bicker, but that day, like, he made some, like, negative comments about the bar we were in after I had said, like, oh, I really like this bar. It's fun. And then it made me feel <laughs> stupid. So then I just got really <laughs> mad at him. <laughs> you were drunk. Oh you were God. drunk fighting. Yeah. So we took a nap, and then every all was right in the world after that. Mm -hmm, Everything yeah. was good. Good. Yeah. But yeah, the ship was freaking amazing, and it was gigantic. Like, never in my life 
I, I don't even know. So it, since it was so big, it was broken down into neighborhoods, and they were like, you know, different neighborhoods around the ship. But the one that I fell in love with was Central Park. Oh. And, I mean... Mm, that's where all the plants were, right? Yeah, so they it's like they... You know, a lot of cruise ships, like everyone wants a balcony now because you who wants to be in a room without a window? But I told Steve I would go on a room without a window because we weren't in the room that often. And if it's right. going to be like half the cost, why not? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but I think cruise ships made a like a poignant shift in like the late 90s or maybe early 90s to like maximize balcony space. Because, you know, in the older ships before that, there was just no balconies at all. Like, you had, you might have had a window, but you never could go outside. Mm-hmm. Well, this mm-hmm. ship had balconies facing outward, like most ships, but then they also had giant sections of the inside carved out and balconies facing inward, too. Oh. And, one of, and one of those sections was Central Park, which is this, like, green plant oasis in the middle of this cruise ship. And it was... Honestly, it was so cool. Like, they had these two giant green walls on either side of the ship that were, like, full of all sorts of plants. And then, like, full-grown trees in this whole set area. Like, Did it you was... film a video for your not-dude channel? Yeah, I did. Yeah, Steve was my cameraman. But then I, I don't know how good that's going to turn out either because I waited <laughs> to the last day. And we were going to film, like, a ship tour for our, our travel channel. Because, mm-hmm. like, houseplants, like, the cruise community. Yeah, they want a it's tour like of it. It's, like, everyone wants to consume the tours, but, right. like, I hate doing them. Yeah, it's I hard, hate, right? I hate it. Yeah. It's so because much I'm work. Like, what do people want to see? And it is a lot of work. Um, so we were going to do that the last day where I was going to film, like, a Central Park tour for Not Dude. And then I was gonna, we were going to do a ship tour. But the last day, the seas were so rough oh yeah and it was so windy i didn't which is is so weird because i do get motion sick on roller coasters i never get sick on the ship but the day after i get off the ship i feel sick the entire day like my i feel dizzy i feel like equilibrium's off yeah Mm -hmm. it's like my body's like what's going on why are we on solid ground yeah Um, i can see that your legs yeah but it didn't make for like a we I did film the tour, but like there's times where I'm like getting knocked around, like I kind of lose my footing, and it was really windy. But yeah. oh, that's so crazy to think that a huge ship like that could be moved. Like mm. that wind must have been big. Okay, like, have yeah, you well, seen have Have you seen Titanic? <laughs> Nicole, can we talk about this, please? Uh, I actually, really... can we talk about Can we talk about the fact that every time I posted something, like. <laughs> I posted that we went to the Mayan ruins, and Nicole just responds, have you seen the ruins? And I was like, no, but I read the book, which is an awful, like, terrifying book. And then the next day, I I talked about how the seas were really rough, and that night I didn't sleep well because I was trying to figure out if the sea... I Literally, in my head, I was looking at our room and like, okay, if this ship is sideways and this is the side that it's on, here is what I'm going to climb on to get out of the room. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, Shut that's up. how my brain works. And then, so I said that in that Instagram story and Nicole replies, have you ever seen Poseidon? And I was like, get the hell out of here with this crap. <laughs> well, because he was like, I don't think a ship this size can tip over or something like that. <laughs> it's so, I don't know what it is, but your first cruise you went on, I watched, what is the name of that movie? With um, Matt Damon, is it Matt Damon? Diane Lane. Oh God, what's the name of it? Where they're the fishermen and they go out. A perfect storm. <laughs> um. I watched that the first time you went out, and then when you were on your second cruise, Jay was searching through like movies to watch, and he didn't even know you were on a cruise. And he's like, "What's this Poseidon? I've never seen this before." So we start watching it. <laughs> looking through my feed and i'm like adam's on a cruise (laughs) so it just so Uh, happened yeah that's funny sorry i won't do that anymore no it was funny (laughs) it cracked me up i was like get the hell out of here with this crap (laughs) but yeah the cruise it was it was really good it was since the ship was so big okay so the week before we got on the ship there was a cruise chartered by this company called Atlantis, which is like this big gay, it's a big gay cruise. Mm -hmm. So the ship that we were on (laughs) was filled with 5,500 gay men. I mean. Okay. So you. And you know what, you know, like 
whatever <laughs> you told us about this before you got on the sh- on the ship and i don't yeah. know why but it started popping up in my feed all this bad press that they were getting that cruise right. ship and so it was something of the seas right that's the name of the ship you were on yeah oasis of the seas so yeah oasis they had but usually when a ship is chartered like a company like atlantis will pay millions of dollars and they just say like we're bringing our own entertainment we're you know, they use some of the staff from the ship. But the whole mm-hmm. time I was like, I told Steve, I was like, maybe we should cancel. Because, like, if we go on this ship and the shows don't run and that, that kind of stuff because people are sick, you know, like mm-hmm. the staff. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I'm going to be really annoyed. And thankfully, nothing. There was no issues whatsoever. Yeah. So everything went fine. And our sailing was like 47 percent full. So the ship can hold 5,500 people. And I think there was only like uh, 2,700 on ours. Oh, wow. Which was nice. And I was like, if this had 5,500 people in it, I don't think I would like cruising because I don't like crowds. So they had yeah. that many people on the ship before? That's yeah. crazy. I saw those pictures and they looked like just ants, like on a beach. It's it's insane that, and no one was like masked or anything. Well, obviously, no. because you're on... And there was no kids, so and you have to be fully vaccinated to even get on, like even yeah. though it was chartered. But I was kind of getting like annoyed because when I would post things and like tag Royal Caribbean, like Oasis of the Seas, I would look at the, you know, I'd look at the location of the tag, mm. and then it's just filled with naked men, and I'm just like, oh. I hope I hope people don't think I was on that cruise. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. We're well, oh, here wow. to say that he wasn't, folks. I was he not. was not. Let the record show. <laughs> But, like, different from the last cruise, I didn't feel that sense of community. And I don't know if it's the different cruise lines or because the other cruise was a smaller ship. It was still a really big ship, Mm -hmm. but it was way smaller than this one. And Mm -hmm. the staff was so kind on the Princess Cruise. This this one, they weren't rude. Like, we made friends with our waiter and assistant waiter because we saw them every night in the dining room. And they were wonderful. Mm -hmm. I I loved them dearly. Mm -hmm. But. You know, we didn't have the vibes that we had the first time. It was less of a community, you know? Yeah. Yeah. When you're traveling alone, it just kind of, that kind of made the first cruise a little better. But Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. we went, Mm -hmm. we stopped at Cozumel and we didn't have any excursions planned at Cozumel. That was our first stop. But my, our assistant waiter, Gina, was having a birthday and I was wanting to get her a present. And so I was just like, you know, you can tell me what you want. I know, you're so nice. (laughs) Well, and maybe she was, like, playing – maybe this is her shtick. Like, maybe her birthday <laughs> happens every week. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. But uh, she – I was like, okay, well, I want to get her a gift. And I know that the crew are usually can get off at ports, but recently since COVID and Omicron, they're not allowed to leave the ship at all. And oh, so gosh. I was like, look, we're going into town, Cozumel, tomorrow – and so I'd like to get you something for your birthday, but I want it to be something you want. Like, I could go in there and buy you, like, chocolates and stuff, but then find out you hate chocolate. So I was like, is there anything that you want? And uh, she was a little shy, but she told me she needed, wanted panty liners and pork rinds, which, first of all, is, like, the best <laughs> band name ever. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Panty liners. That's so random. Panty liners yeah. and pork rinds. That, I could be friends with this girl. <laughs> like do you anyway, have her name and number but her also, name was Gina and she was the best <laughs> what a random request from a total stranger I know yeah. I mean this was like day two of a dinner with her so she I mean but you know <laughs> I guess the ones on the ship are just really expensive and that's what they like all the staff miss is going to Mega Mart in um, Cozumel mm. it was like a giant Walmart Anyway, so here's two gay men in the panty liner section being like, what the hell do we pick? <laughs> well, there's many options. <laughs> I... Wow. <laughs> oh, but yeah. We, we, her panties are lined, folks. Wait, can that, can, can that be the <laughs> title of this episode? Panty liners and pork rinds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a great oh band gosh. name. That is. There's a title. That'll really let people know that this is not, not. about plants. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, like all along the way, we were like in tropical jungles. So we went to Roatan uh, after that, and I just saw like mm-hmm. all of these plants that are just like oh. And I held a sloth. I got a hold of sloth. Mm-hmm. 
Had you ever been yeah. to Cosmo? Oh, sorry. No, I hadn't. No. Oh, okay. But we didn't really do anything in Cosmo except we just got a taxi to the grocery store and then back to the port. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was the um, sloth stinky? It, it was not. And they directed us that we were not allowed to pet them or else they would like dig their claws in. But I was like, I'll I'll take the pain. Like I just oh. I'm holding this thing and I just want to <laughs> pet it. Like I was like <laughs> <laughs> what's the point of holding it then you know it's like i guess just for the photo yeah and uh but it was so sweet and they like hug on to you like oh. they like bring mm. them over and they just like grip you and i was just like oh this is Yours the best the... day of my whole life it looked like a baby were they babies no they... they weren't no. wow i just imagined sloths to be bigger than that yeah i mean it has really long arms and stuff but yeah. the bodies aren't very big so cute. Um, and then we went to an iguana rescue or whatever and fed them elephant oh. ear plant leaves, and that was terrifying. <gasps> was it really? <laughs> the second you put that leaf down, it was like hordes of iguanas came running at you. And oh I'm not God. a reptile fan. Like, Okay. No. And they were just all like... <laughs> They just all started piling up around your feet, like climbing on each other to like try to get to the leaf. And I was like, "This is what the zombie apocalypse is gonna look like." Like, <laughs> this is. Ooh. I, think I like the, reptiles. I think, I think in the cool. video I posted, I was like, "Okay, I don't think I like this." And I like handed the leaf to Steve because I was like, "Please get it away." <laughs> yeah. Mia has a bearded dragon at her dad's house. His name is Odin. Mm-hmm. Oh cute. no 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 rep- I, I no reptiles! I don't mind them. I remember going to Aruba, um, and like they're just out in the open, like they just walk around, you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. everywhere. Yeah. Ooh, my family had a strict no rodent or reptile rule, and I had my mom caved, and we, we got two little green lizards, but I don't know how. I don't remember what happened to them. I feel like they died. Because I did not take care of them. Oh, oh that's so sad. But yeah, my parents were like, no, no, ex- no extra pets. Fish, yes. And so I had a big tank of guppies that just kept reproducing. There's new guppies like all the time. Oh, dang. <laughs> it's like a grow box. I had, I had hamsters. I had hamsters, but they like ran away and I don't know where they ended up, you know? Oh. Did they run away, Adam, or did they die and your yeah i don't told know you they ran away because <laughs> she probably would have told me they ran away if they died i had um, hamsters ooh. just tiny story real quick and one of the hamsters i bought from the pet store was pregnant my mom was livid because she didn't want me to have one to begin with <laughs> so picture mama clean leaves with a pregnant hamster and oh. the mom had the babies and i didn't know that you weren't supposed to touch them and I did. And I was like, oh, the little baby. And the next morning oh, I woke no. up, the mother ate all of her babies. Ate <gasps> them. <laughs> horrifying. Horrifying. Oh. Absolutely horrifying. Oh. You didn't know that's what they did? I didn't know it either. So, <laughs> I, I had, I had a, a feeling that she would kill them, but not eat them. She killed them by eating them. Yeah. I took I took <laughs> her back to the pet store. I was like, this one is defected. It <laughs> needs to be put in prison forever. And they're like, oh, yeah. sweetie, that's what they do. Yeah, you shouldn't have touched them. I was like, you could have told me that when you sold me a pregnant <laughs> hamster. <laughs> I'm just picturing like little Nicole with pigtails being like, what yes. the fuck? It's not a fucking vibe, okay? Also, I just don't think... I don't think she ate them solely because you touched them. So if you've been carrying that guilt with you, you can just, like, release it. Because I have heard of hamsters, like, eating their young. So, okay, And yeah. I don't think... I don't think I've it was because too. you touched it, you know? Okay. I don't think you caused the death. <laughs> well, that's what the lady Although at the pet I wouldn't store told ru- me. I wouldn't rule it out completely. <laughs> <laughs> but... <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> it was pretty traumatizing. I got over it though, but it was pretty oh, traumatizing. Gosh. Oh boy. She ate them. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Was... Um any other hot details from the cruise? <laughs> yeah. Oh. What else? Yeah, so I think probably one of my favorite stops was our last one. We stopped in Costa Maya, Mexico, and we visited some Mayan mm. ruins, which yeah. was so cool. But the thing with some excursions and cruise ships is that 
you don't get a lot of time. So like literally we rocked up to these ruins and they're like, okay, you have 20 minutes to walk around. But it was like this huge place. And I'm like mm-hmm. running around trying to get shots with the camera for content, yeah, trying to get yeah. pictures for of us. And then also trying to just like enjoy it. But mm-hmm. um, this one of the Mayan ruins we went to was like a, a place. It was like a sanctuary that I would say like, they refer to it like a spa or something where all of like the noble or like the 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 higher up people the politicians went and it was also like um a botanical garden and you could Ooh. tell because like the grounds were really well kept and there was pothos growing up the tree that were just like gigantic mm. and i mm. you know people in our like group that was on that excursion were probably like what the hell is this guy doing because I literally was walking (laughs) off all the trails and being like taking pictures of plants like every time Uh, but it was so cool and that's where I saw begonias growing in the wild which I think I told you guys both that like I don't know when I've ever seen begonias in the wild like yeah I mean I've no I can't think of a time that I've seen begonias just like Growing on the ground. Same. And they were big. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were huge. I didn't even know what they looked like in the wild. I did look up a photo for my begonia collection video, and I only found one photo of them in nature, like, growing. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it must people must not care, or it must not happen that often. Like, I don't know. Yeah. But it's there crazy. was, like, anthuriums. Not, like, the cute, like, crystallinum and that kind of stuff, but the, the anthurium that's kind of got long lance shaped leaves and grows and looks similar to a bird's nest fern. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, what is that called? Is it with an L? Lauterbachia? No, that's a Hoya. No. But there was a bunch of those growing all over that area. Someone's screaming the name. What is that called? Yeah. I know. Um, and spider monkeys through the trees and everyone, like I was walking in an area and they were like, you're under the monkeys. Cause apparently they like pee on you. And I'm just oh. like, <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't yeah. think I've ever seen monkeys in the wild either. Yeah. yeah it I don't was, think I it have. Was, it's cool to like see that. That's really cool. But yeah, um, the highlight of the ship though for me was Central Park because you had restaurants there and they had like outdoor seating and we would go get breakfast at the Central Park Cafe, which would just be like a coffee or an iced chai, dirty chai, because you got to have that caffeine. Cool. And uh, <laughs> we would just sit in these like park chairs and then the the trees are rustling and the plants are mm-hmm. just there. It was, it, honestly, it was like the coolest thing ever. Do you ever find mm-hmm. yourself just like sitting there staring out at the ocean and like waiting yeah. to see something jump out of it. Yeah, because well, I always want to see dolphins. Yeah. But there's these things called flying fish, which if you've never seen them, mm-hmm. you should look up a video. But it is insane how far they fly. Like really? they'll just jump out of the water and just soar, and oh then go gosh. back into the water. Yeah. Have you wow. seen dolphins yet? No, not on the cruise ship. I haven't. Because dolphins Dang. in the wild are just majestical. Even though they're oh, like yeah. the rapiest animal in the sea, but are they the are rapiest? They? Yeah. Well, You've they have sex for pleasure. Yeah. Oh. They're the aren't they the only other like M- organism mammal? besides human yeah. humans that like just do it for fun? I didn't Funsies. know that. Have they figured out have they figured out birth control? Like, do they pull out? Like, how do they? <laughs> Do they track their ovulation? Like I'm just wondering. Like. There goes that. There goes that explicit mark on the, this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I always wait for it. I wait for the moment. I'm like, there it is. <laughs> I don't even. Um, I just mark them all explicit because it's like something happened in this podcast. <laughs> oh my god yeah like if someone watches this with their kid like man i hope that kid is young and will not be able to repeat things what if what if your kid walked up to you and was like what you didn't figure out how to pull out like what would you say i think i'd be like the woman was too stunned to speak i would not know i would be like no you're right i didn't (laughs) i'd be like go figure out what that means and then come back and talk to me (laughs) yeah Oh, oh my gosh! But yeah, That's that was funny. that was the cruise. It was really fun. Uh, I'm glad to be back home. Though that one, yeah. I didn't like. I was like, okay, I'm ready to come home. The first one, I was not ready to come home. Mm. But so it was still a okay, good time. so you were you were on the Pacific side this time, but you still ported in no. Florida. 
Oh, it was, oh. It was in the Atlantic. Yeah. Oh, it was. So it went just down. Okay. I thought that yeah. you were on the other side the whole time. I was like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah. That April, we're going on the Pacific side. So that'll be cool. Ooh. You want to go to Alaska? No, we're going on to Mexico again. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah. I think we've That'll had this fun. exact conversation like four times. Probably. <laughs> I've and also asked Nicole's him. brought up Alaska. I've also asked him like, when are you leaving for your cruise? Like eight times. I don't... <laughs> Too much weed in my early days, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh... mm. oh. That's funny. Okay. Who's next? Who wants to talk about their week? Well, Becca just had a very interesting um 2 p.m. So what? (laughs) between one and two was a rough time for Becca today. So why don't we talk about it? Yeah. Well, (laughs) today was productive. I got I got online. You know, I started working and we've been having some snow days. So Daniel's been working from home. So I've been trying extra hard not to be distracted because he's very distracting (laughs) And today was a great day for me to just focus. I woke up. I got my whole schedule figured out for the February, my upload schedule. You know, I got some fun stuff coming. Okay, we hop on the call to record our podcast. We're doing our little chit chat. We're 30 minutes into our chit chat. We're about to start recording. (laughs) And Cooper, my dog swallows a toy that he cannot pass and i just know he can't so (laughs) it's a tail of a toy that he ripped off and we were actually just about to throw it away and daniel had it hovering over the trash can and then cooper went up and (laughs) took it out of his hand because like he loves that toy and it was sad (laughs) so he's like yeah he had the whole part of the tail in his mouth okay and i was watching him i'm like he looks like he's gonna try to swallow that and dan was like no he's not gonna You guys, and also Adam and Nicole were on the phone with me. We were probably (laughs) so, it was probably so awkward because you know like when your friend's parents start fighting in front of you and you just like (laughs) don't know what to do? (laughs) I didn't think that you guys were fighting because there was a lot of laughter in in those yells, in those screams. Yeah, yeah, we definitely weren't fighting. I just, you know, you never know when it's another couple, like what's their dynamic? I mean, you guys know us well, but like... I was like, oh, shoot, am I making them uncomfortable? Because I was, like, yelling at Daniel. I'm like, he's going to swallow it. Take it out of his mouth. Take it out of his mouth. And I don't know why I didn't just run over and take it out of his mouth. Like, I was screaming at Daniel to do it. I don't know why I didn't just do it. Like, Well, you were working. That's my. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, <laughs> I keep going back to that, though. Like, I'm like, why didn't I just do that? But whatever. Okay. So Cooper, he's like moving it around in his mouth. And Daniel's like, drop it, drop it. Because we taught him to drop it, both of our dogs. And it's a very valuable skill for them to learn. Yeah. <laughs> but for some reason, Cooper did not want to drop this toy. So he swallowed it. He knew and- it was going in the garbage. And he just wanted to savor it forever. I know. Which is like sad. Because <laughs> he didn't want to. He want, he didn't want it to get thrown away, so he just swallowed it instead. Like that's a little sad, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. So okay. So it like was hard for him to swallow it. Like it didn't just go right down the hatch. He was like moving his his whole head to get it down. You oh. Know? <laughs> and I was like, oh no, we have to call the vet. Like this is going to be a $2,000 vet bill. We don't have that right now. Like, this is going to be a whole thing, blah, blah, blah. And um, I was being very loud and dramatic. And then I got off the phone with Adam and Nicole because I was very stressed. And I called the vet, which, by the way, I don't know if this is just my vet. And it might just be because the entire city of Columbia is, like, covered in six inches of snow and nobody knows what to do. (laughs) But they were very helpful. (laughs) (laughs) So I think they knew maybe that we it probably would be hard for us to come out because, yeah, six inches of snow, we'll get to that in a second, but we have not (laughs) shoveled or done anything. Like, we are, like, snowed in, technically, currently. Um, Like, we'd have to get out our snowblower to, like, get out of our house, I think. And we have never used it, so... Oh, so you haven't even walked outside... Well, you've walked outside to take the dogs out, but that's it. Yes, so I've been in the backyard, but I have no idea, like, what our cars look like or the driveway. And there's probably a lot of drifting, too. That's where it gets worse, is the drifts. Yeah. Yeah. 
So like the snow is honestly pristine. I'm kind of intrigued to like touch it because it's like powder. <laughs> yeah. You can make ice cream. Eat it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I actually did scoop some up and put it in my mouth and it tasted kind of weird though. Mm. Was it yellow? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> I thought it was a pineapple snow cone. <laughs> no. Um, okay, so I, I call my vet. We get on the phone. I'm trying to stay calm, and I'm also trying to not sound like an animal abuser. And I was like, yeah, like, we were trying to take the toy away from him, but he just swallowed it instead, and it's a stuffed <laughs> toy, and blah, blah, blah. She's like, okay, uh, that's all right. Like, these things happen. Let, let me talk to the vet. Like, thank God his vet was, in, was there, and, like, she knows him. Yeah. Every time my vet sees Cooper, she freaks the freak out. She loves him. So... Aww. Yeah, she was really sweet and called back and was like, okay, so here's what you're going to do. We're going to induce vomiting and give him some hydrogen peroxide. So, yeah. and Okay, I'm going to say this now. Not that I think someone's going to comment, but there's no point in commenting and telling me that I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> because <laughs> it worked. it's already done and I'm going to trust my vet. So yeah. I'm just going to put that out there. My vet literally, I talked to my vet and she told me to do this. So, you know, she's... She's our right. We see her all the time. I just want to put that out there. I, I yeah. don't want someone to be like, well, it could cause X, Y, Z. If it happens, it happens. And we'll talk to the vet. But anyway. Okay. So I we pour the stuff down the hatch. He swallows it. And then like a few minutes later, he threw up like really soon after. So it was maybe like three, four minutes. We put a towel down and he just yaks. There it was. Big time. <laughs> yeah. Awesome and there tail. it was. And it was like covered in spit. Like his body was really trying to digest. This. He was like, oh man, encased. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I have to give the disgusting visuals. It's me. Come on. <laughs> um, so yeah, he like threw up all over this towel, and he was he was dry heaving for a little and then he stopped and i called the vet back and was like yeah he's just dry heaving and she's like that's okay it'll stop you know maybe in a few hours give him some rice or like you know bland food blah 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 <sighs> so needless to say we didn't record this afternoon and that's why we're recording now um because my dog and me were very silly today so <laughs> <laughs> And Daniel. He he gets looped in on this, too. We were yeah. bad parents today. <laughs> <laughs> Loop him in there. Uh, yeah. I but think... honestly, I'm... Oh, I was just going to say, I'm glad that it happened on a day that Dan was home. Because if he wasn't, I think I would have had an anxiety attack. Like, yeah. truly, I would have freaked out. Because, like, if anything happens to my dogs, I am mortified. So, yeah. I... Being mad at him made me, like, less freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny because, like, on our end, we could hear Daniel yelling, like, very sternly, drop it, drop yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden, you drop just it. hear a very, like, kind of quiet go, oh, it's gone. He swallowed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gone. Yeah. All right. And Daniel was, like, so shocked that he swallowed it. He's like, what? I'm like, no, of course he's going to swallow it. It's Cooper. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that dog is a freak like of course yeah you'd think like, that, uh, like his gag reflex would have been like nope can't do this you know let me just i don't think this dogs have out. that probably not <laughs> oh do they not i've actually never thought about that well you know how everyone always says like oh dogs can't choke which i know is not true because dogs could definitely choke like anybody that has breathing through a windpipe yeah. can choke yeah um yeah how'd that smell I'm just like curious if it stinks. I, <laughs> I wasn't doing it for it. pleasure. I was just seeing if it would smell bad. I'm doing a status update. <laughs> uh, for those of you that can't see this, she's just sniffing her fuzzy burks. <laughs> Becca's got a new brand deal where she needs to see if shoes smell bad. <laughs> Wait, can you imagine if we never clarified what I sniffed? <laughs> <laughs> just check him. Edit, I'm just edit out the shoe part. <laughs> just checking to see if it stinks. <laughs> oh my How's gosh! That it smell? doesn't. It doesn't. Good, though. Good. It's, it um just smells like 
I don't know. I don't know what it smells like, but it doesn't smell like feet, so that's good. It should be screen recording this, because I'm sure people would pay good money just to see you sniffing your own shoe. <laughs> Only fans. I think we could make, could make some content. <laughs> Only fans. Oh, my gosh. I was joking around with Daniel today, and I was like, what if I started an OnlyFans? Like, I could definitely make some money, I think. <laughs> And he's like, oh, like, just never show your face? I'm like, no, like, I'd show my face. And he's like, oh, then no. I'm like, so you'd be okay with it if I didn't show my face? I'm like, what? I was like, yeah, like, I just, like, put, le- like, leaves over myself. And he's like, no, no. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess. It's like World right. Naked Gardening Day, but, like, all the time. I said the same thing no. to Steve, and he was not okay with it either. I mean, he didn't. I don't know. He didn't specify if my face was visible or not, but <laughs> he said no. <laughs> was I a hard feel pass. Like, like you'd have to. It's like a very niche thing to be into, but I just have a feeling that if there was, if I was into that, and there was somebody who I followed who was posting but wasn't saying who they were, I feel like I would know. You know, like yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I just the shape. I don't know. I just, I mean, I've never been in that situation, so I can't say that I would know, but I feel like I'd be like, wait a minute. That looks like That so looks like Adam so. Terry leg. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. And I don't have any like markings on me that would make it like obvious who I am. So I feel like maybe I could fly under the radar, but just so everybody knows, I'm never going to do that. Um, <laughs> well, I never say never, but yeah. <laughs> oh. likely not. Let's say likely all, not. I'm pretty tatted up, so I think I'd kind of blow my cover. Oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> oh. Yeah. What, do you guys? Did you guys hear that story about that girl who was uh, selling her farts in like little mason jars <gasps> okay. and had a heart attack? Wait, did she they was, travel? What, what do you mean? Like, did they travel? Like when she when people opened the jars, like it, the fart smell was still in there. I'm sure because if you if you. Have you never like cupped a fart and thrown it at a friend, or is that just something dudes do? That <laughs> sounds like a dude thing. I have never done that. <laughs> what? Do you wash your hands after? <laughs> no. No. Ah! <laughs> I've never ever heard of this ever. Oh Cupping man. Cupping a fart. Oh my well, god! Well, I feel like our audience is mostly <laughs> female, so I just screwed myself over there because no one's gonna be like, "I've heard of it." <laughs> yeah, you just sound gross now. Wait, I just had this idea. What if <laughs> so maybe our audience can tell us if this is a good idea? What if we started a Patreon where we do a bonus episode that's like only chatty? And like, we should do it at night because I feel like we're all a little loosey goosey with a with a drink. Yeah, this is this is fun. Like maybe we could start a Patreon and like do this all the time. Yeah, let's do it. Have a video a video element. I don't know. Something to think about. Yeah, for sure. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to derail, but you know me. My uh, no, my business I mean, mind it never stops. We can derail <laughs> cupping farts because we don't need to get back to it. Cupping <laughs> but farts. But wait, wait, hold no, on. but I am curious, like, does the jar hold the fart? Yeah, yeah so I I've... think she would like a little mason jar, you know. You seal it up. I mean, she was making a lot of money, but Where anyway, she had some. Where did I hear this from? She had some heart issues or some chest issues, and then because her her diet was like high fiber, high protein, like it was really screwing <gasps> up. So she had to quit. She had a heart attack because she was farting too much. I'm gonna catch well, a cold. She was eating from like. The ice and sun, so <laughs> don't come back for me. <laughs> Jar <laughs> farts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I am you know where I was going with that? <laughs> yeah. As soon as you said soul, I was like, oh no, I know what the lyric is. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, but who was this? Because I, I heard this. I don't know where I heard it. But is she okay? It? Yeah, she's okay now, I think. I don't know. Everybody has their kinks. That's so disgusting. <laughs> who would buy? I want to know who the purchasers were of this. I don't know. So she that would. I think is so weird. I think she would like video herself like during the process of like. Come on. <laughs> screwing the jar like a little ASMR video for each delivery. No! There's like a microphone by her butt. <laughs> Wait, why am I not ASSMR. tempted to like? 
Yeah, I'm like tempted now, like in my off time, to like set up my microphone and fart into it. Because what would that sound like? <laughs> I mean, while you're down there, might as well test out the mason jar and see if it holds the smell. Give it to Daniel for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Just cup it and just open it up when he's sitting on his gaming station and be like. <laughs> he can't leave. Like, yeah. he has to sit there. <laughs> oh, my God. That is oh. so, so gross. Wow. Everybody has their kinks. You know, we're not kink shaming. We're just curious. That's. Oh. Wow. I'm kink shaming. Wow. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kink shaming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Columbia got a total of six inches of snow in <laughs> our winter storm. I measured. Back, well, back measured. at my house. Yeah, at my house we got six inches, which is yeah, average. <laughs> <laughs> it's above average, actually. Yeah. Uh, one inch above average? Um, <laughs> yeah, so what can I say? It's beautiful. I mean... Would I have loved like 12 inches or like two feet? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I'll take what I can get, you know? Like, we don't. <laughs> My mind's right there. I just like can't separate snow from. <laughs> um, like, size matters. <laughs> Just kidding. Cut it go out. big or go home. <laughs> go big or go home. We got we got the same amount of snow that you got, and I think we were supposed to get more. But yeah. I think you're gonna see a day where you get like a good foot of snow. Like, do you know how long it's been since mm. Missouri's seen six inches? I feel like they get. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> So Patreon and um, OnlyFans were opening then, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. Um, no, I, okay. A bunch of people were like freaking out about this storm and like saying that we haven't seen this much snow in so long. It was actually predicted between eight and 12 inches that we were supposed mm -hmm. to get. Yeah. So like actually, I mean, six isn't that far off from eight as far as um, snow goes. So I feel like... Maybe certain parts of Columbia got eight. I don't know, but yeah. we're outside of Columbia. So, um, but yeah, it was predicted to get quite a bit and like everybody was freaking out. Like, I don't think that we've seen this much snow. Like my mother-in-law was telling me like, it does not snow that much here. Like the last time we saw that much snow was like, I don't know. I don't know years, but a very long time ago. Hmm. Um, and she's up in Iowa, and they didn't get any snow in like wow. southern Iowa. So the record, yeah. I'm just I just looked it up for Columbia, Missouri. The record happened in 1995, and it was 18 inches. Whoa, <gasps> dang! Yeah. It's there, so it can happen. Get ready. That's just two feet is 24 inches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like, I cannot. That's so crazy to me that it could snow that much. Like. That's so insane. And, like, some people get six inches every week, like, depending on where you live. Like, this is, like, a normal amount of snowfall. Oh, yeah. Like oh, yeah, yeah. Like, Minnesota, Crazy. Wisconsin, like, I mean, mm -hmm. Canada. Like, they're all used to, mm -hmm. they're, like, making fun of us down here for freaking out, you know? Yeah. But, I mean, yeah. rightfully so, though, because some cities just are not built to handle that much snow. Like, you can have snow plows and, like, salt and do all that, but, like, just... That amount of snow in that short period of time, the city mm -hmm. has to shut down, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Well, it's like what happened with Texas last year. Like, every, mm -hmm. I was so pissed off at everybody making fun of Texas. Like, oh, it I was know. like a serious, like, people died. Like, it was like, I don't think people in the Northeast and, like, the super North quite understand that the cities are not built for that. Like, the infrastructure, mm -hmm. the type of Houses, homes that are yeah. built there. Yeah. It's not made for that. Like, they're not made to hold in warmth, like, to that degree. Like, right. our houses up here, like, my house is built for that, even though we don't get that much. But you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like we were talking about on our live yesterday how my house is, like, basically completely, like, heat sufficient with wood. Like, we don't right. need to even use our electric heater if we didn't want to. 
and that's because we have the stove but like who has a wood-burning stove in freaking texas or arizona <laughs> you know right yeah. yeah it's just like not a thing so yeah i mean it's it's nuts it's absolutely nuts like the same thing like we would be saying like we've would feel sad for people in Minnesota if it reached like 130 degrees like yeah you know they, they, they know would be freaking do. out yeah right. so it's I don't know so it's just like a oh man the, the weather's are, the weather's just getting more extreme you know which is um, it is. a and side it's effect of, <laughs> yeah you know it it's is. like shifting so that's why these states that don't experience that are starting to experience these temps that they're not used to and it's scary yeah it's like crazy. even in chicago like we were talking about it like a, a winter season used to be like november to february and now it's shifted like a complete month like now we it could be mm-hmm. like 60s 70s like late mm-hmm. november and mm-hmm. we had we had snow like three times last march which march mm-hmm. would usually be the month where like spring is coming you know it's just it's so yeah. wild to to think about that you know yeah and like where we're gonna be in the next couple decades yeah i mean things might just like flip like in a let's say a hundred years like winter might be what summer is now you know like who Mm -hmm. knows what the seasons are gonna even look like it's crazy to think about yeah it is crazy but yeah like i've been thinking to myself like if i'm gonna live somewhere cold I might as well live somewhere where it snows a lot because that's like the whole point of it being cold. Like you would want it to at least snow so it's pretty, you know? Yeah. I mean, snow is like ugly after a couple of days when it's like all dirty. <laughs> yeah. I now know what that's like. Because I remember, Nicole, you told me that. You're like, actually, it's like really ugly after a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> snow doesn't stay white, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it like, but it kind of cleans the roads, like low yeah. key. That's that's nice. <laughs> but like, <laughs> like shiny <Little> roads. <laughs> Um, but like, yeah, driving around town after a snow, like we haven't had that much snow in the past and I haven't, I'm like homebound right now, probably until it melts like a lot more, but like driving around and like past snowfalls, they just pound, they like, (laughs) I was going to say they just pound it. That's not, no, (laughs) they pile it, they pile it up in mounds Mm -hmm. and it's just like big, dark black mounds in parking lots. And I'm like. Ew. Yeah, it's all dirty yeah. and gross. Yeah. Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to like dig holes into those mounds and like create little igloos because they would do it in our hometown, like oh, on the corners. Oh, cool. Yeah. 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 You know what? I've seen people build, like, what do they call it? They, call, they start with a K, Kinsey or something like that. Have you seen those? Mm-mm. No. You like hollow out, like what Adam said, you like make like a snow fort and then you can like put a fire in it and like sleep in it and it stays warm oh. and if it's cold enough outside like it won't fall onto you but yeah it's crazy yeah. oh that's cool you can do stuff like, like an, that it's like an actual igloo yeah. yeah yeah so yeah we've just been dealing with that so besides like my dog throwing up that's pretty much all oh i'm taking a master gardener course as i think i've oh. i don't know if i've talked about that on the podcast no I, you haven't um, but i saw it on instagram yeah yeah how do you like it it's it's good i mean i don't know i don't know like it's interesting because i wanted to do something that would give me like more plant knowledge and credibility just to like i i know these things um not just through like reading on the internet like i'm actually learning from professors like similarly to how someone would with a degree Mm -hmm. except it's literally one semester so it's not that serious Mm -hmm. but like yeah, like, and and I was cool with the whole volunteer aspect of it, but I didn't realize that you cannot say you're a master gardener if the thing you're saying that at is something you're making money at. Does that make sense? No. So, like, okay, I know, it's, it's weird. Okay, well, it's not that weird, but basically a master gardener at its core is a volunteer. So... Really? Yeah, so volunteering in the community, et cetera, like teaching and stuff like that, which like I'm totally cool with. Like I'm happy to do that. I want to do that. But Mm -hmm. also I wanted to sort of translate things onto my YouTube channel and be like, I'm a master gardener and I want to help you. But But you're making money off YouTube. Yeah, because I make money off of YouTube, I can't say I'm a master gardener. 
like oh, legally. So you can't give yourself that label if you're right. saying it on some place you're making money. I get it. Right. Yeah. So I like, get it, but I never knew that. That's kind of that's kind of crazy. It's interesting. Yeah. Like the, the example that they gave is, you know, if you work at a plant nursery and you're helping somebody out with a plant, like you can't be like, I'm a master gardener. Let me help you. Like you just can you just can't even mention it, which I think is like, I don't what's know. What's the point of that? What like what's the basis behind that? Of the master gardener program, or like not saying you're a master gardener if you're being paid, not that, being able to yeah. say because like you're taking classes f- to become a master gardener. Mm-hmm. But oh, okay. So the definition of a master gardener is a volunteer. Who yeah, a knows community everything volunteer. Ab- okay. So that's why. And I'm like, hey, that makes a lot of sense. But yeah. I don't feel like that was correctly, that information. Like, if that was given to me prior to doing this, I don't know if I would have done it. Like, and not to say that I want, like, to make money off of this. That's not what it is at all. Like, mm-hmm. I can still talk about the information that I'm learning without saying, I know this because I'm a master gardener. So I don't even need you know what I mean? I don't need the right. title necessarily. But I just find it strange. Like, it's like this rule that you can't... I don't know. It's just interesting. Um, but yeah, like, I'm going to have to gather volunteer hours from my community. So I need to get into contact with some schools or community gardens. Like, there's, like, different places that I can contact to, like, do volunteer hours and stuff. But mm-hmm. I'd like to get into, like, the teaching part of it because, obviously, I was a teacher and I really like that. And if I could teach, like kids that would be even better because like yeah i kind of i kind of miss hanging out with kids they're so cute and funny yeah. and silly and like gardening is like a fun thing yeah. like it's silly it's not like i'm teaching them grammar so it's just right. different like the vibe is different than like my nightmare the other the other night did i tell you about my nightmare no i have the dumbest most realistic nightmares <laughs> like people are like oh yeah like daniel will tell me his nightmares he's like oh yeah like we were getting chased and like i shot him and then like i picked you up over my shoulder and we were running i'm like what world would that ever happen like what the hell <laughs> um that's just an example of the types of dreams he has and like his nightmares quote unquote <laughs> but i had a nightmare the other night that he broke up with me via text <laughs> and <laughs> My husband. Husband. (laughs) Husband. (laughs) You guys know that scene in Bridesmaids where the girl is like, this is my husband. (laughs) You don't have a husband. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Okay, memory unlocked. Anyway, so, and then another time I had a dream that I was teaching a grammar lesson and nobody was listening to me. I was just up at the front of the class trying to teach and like trying to get their attention and like nobody was paying attention. Like those are the nightmares that I have. I'm like, why is this so realistic? Like, can I just sleep? <laughs> <laughs> can I just, can I just sleep? sleep in peace? <laughs> can I, yeah, like can somebody be chasing me? Like that would be so much better than like standing up here at work. <laughs> like <laughs> anyway, so it was fun. Today I learned about all of the plant parts and like plant cells and like how plants photosynthesize. It was cool. Like there was some things that felt like familiar when it, when we started talking about like leaf structure and like, I don't know, like what, like, cause there's so many things that I notice about plants. Like, you know how there's some plants where like uh, two leaves will come out of one node, like on either mm-hmm. side. And, and like that has a specific name and it's a different type of plant structure from one that grows like this one and this one, this one, this one, yeah. like one yeah. leaf per node. Like they have different names and like these, it's just crazy because like these patterns are found in like tropical plants and in garden plants, like in perennials, yeah. in food and trees. It's just so freaking cool that all of these plants are so different, but like they're also so similar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just find it very interesting. And also, the amount of things that have to go right in order for a plant to bloom. Can you like imagine that? Like that is yeah. nuts, you know? Cause like when we talk about like houseplants blooming, we think about it as like a stress response, which like it probably is sometimes. Like I'm not gonna say that's not like the case all the time, but like in nature, 
when the plant blooms, it's because like everything went right. And it's like a reward for like everything going right. Like the temperature, the air quality, the water, like the everything, light. the light. Yeah. Like the plant got the exact amount of light that it needed and now it's blooming. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like, I feel like we should see blooms on our houseplants as that. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. not necessarily like they're stressed. You know what I mean? Like, right. I don't know. Which I just think of Adam's Hoya collection just blooming constantly. Like, you must be doing something exactly right. Because thinking about, like, honestly, like, this class, I'm like, it is so hard for a plant to bloom. Everything has to go right. Yeah. Everything. Ooh. Oh. I love thinking about that, though. Yeah. Because I usually You're just doing think everything of right. I usually just think I'm just, like, <laughs> bringing them to the brink of death. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, possibly, yes, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> but it's more fun to think about you being perfect, and that's why they're blooming. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's the story, and we're sticking to it. Gosh, yeah. we, this wasn't even going to be about plants. That's look so that. interesting. Shoot. No. Look, look where what? the chat went. All you look people that chat. clicked out of it, you're going to regret it in the morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should have oh a podcast gosh. that's not about plants, and then we talk about plants all the time on it. <laughs> <laughs> just cross-reference our audiences. Just go. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Oh, my gosh. So this that's is hilarious. an online This is online course, and it's just one semester? Is it a go at yeah. your own pace, or do you have to be there at a certain time? It's like every week a new module gets released and you have the whole week to do it and okay. i do it in an oh. afternoon it takes me like three hours to do each module oh, that's so nice. it's like mm, you know it's <laughs> oh god no 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 what? no like <laughs> i said humble, humble brag, brag. <laughs> oh <laughs> it's like two to three like 15 to 20 minute videos on different subjects and i'm taking notes my little word document and <laughs> I, honestly, I feel like a college student. It feels like college again, and it's kind of fun. Yeah. So yeah. just for That's anything cool. else, like, it's just fun to feel that way again because I I really mm -hmm. missed that, like, structure and, like, learning something new. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. So, yeah, because most of my day is, like, mind-numbing editing and disassociating and being like, what? How's it already <laughs> been three hours? <laughs> so it's just yeah. nice. I know that feeling. But that's all I've got. So, Nicole, you're up. <laughs> well, I don't have a ton. I had, I mean, we got the same snow that you guys had, which I think that, like, we were on the same snow pattern. It was, like, this heavy cutoff because we got, like, I want to say six to eight inches, but I think it's closer to six where we live. Mm -hmm. And the south, like, the city and, like, northern Indiana got, like, two feet of snow. So it's it was crazy. like, and we're, and we're only like 40 minutes from there, which that's also like blows my mind because it's like, I could have literally drove 30 minutes and been like trapped in a snowstorm mm -hmm. and, uh, the kids go to school in the city still. So I take Mia to school and pick her up pretty much every day during the week. And, um, we were waiting cause all the schools were closed. We were waiting to see if like Chicago public schools was going to close because there's like 300 and... 30,000 kids or some crazy number and it's like they like make the rules for the whole Chicago public schools district so it's not mm -hmm. like on a school to school basis it's just like they have to make the, the call and they told us like an hour and a half before school started that school was going to be in session <laughs> like we were waiting and waiting it wasn't an hour and a half it was like two hours but it took us crazy. an hour and a half to get to school so it was just like, yeah. it was, it was wild. It was wild. I mean, they should have closed because the roads were so bad. I was doing like 15 miles an hour in, in like a 55, you know, like the whole oh way my there. Gosh. Were the roads like plowed yet or were they just like unsafe, like slippery? Plows were out, but they couldn't keep up with the snow. So like yeah. it was, yeah. and like when cars are on the road, which is another reason the city was kind of pissed about the schools staying open. It's like one of the main reasons why they close schools is so that people stay off the roads so that the plows can do their job. And mm -hmm. like when, when you have all these kids having to go to school, <laughs> it, th there's yeah. tons, like there's tons of cars on the road. So like the plows were out, but they couldn't really do their jobs effectively because there were just tons of cars on the road. So 
Like mm-hmm. we're contributing to the problem at that point, you know? Yeah, because the cars are packing down the snow into that like dense like ice, you know? Yeah, right. And it rained before it snowed. So we got yeah. this band of rain, which is the same thing you got, I think, right? So it's just like a layer, it's like a sheet of ice underneath the yeah. snow, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it was like my mom's birthday was on Monday or Tuesday. Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Yay, Mama Cleanly's happy birthday, mom. Um mm-hmm. and it was like 45 and she was just like, "It has never been this warm on my birthday. It's always a snowstorm." And then like it rained later that day. And then it just turned to snow. So like it all froze and then it, it was really bad. It was bad going there. And then I had, so it took me an hour and a half to get her to school. Then I had a doctor's appointment, like literally 20 minutes from my house. No joke. It took me an hour and 20 minutes to get to the doctor's appointment from school. It took me another hour to get home. That should have only taken me 20 minutes. It was I mean, I was passing people at intersections and people were stuck like regular because I have an SUV, but like people in regular cars were just stuck in the middle of the road and people were getting out and like pushing cars at busy intersections. It was wild. It it was just not a day to be on the road, but like it was a doctor's appointment I could not cancel. And then like I had to go. I was like debating, like, do I just head back to the city after my doctor? Do I go home for 30 minutes and like... Mm -hmm go back it was ugh, it was awful but we made it and we're here and we'll probably get more snow so Mm -hmm. i just don't get cps like little mini vent rant here people in chicago like we we built we designed this whole system for kids to be able to go remote due to the pandemic and then they take a day like wednesday where it's physically dangerous to be outside (laughs) And they decide yeah. like, no, we're it's in person classes. It's like we you have access to remote learning. Like I don't get it. I don't get yeah. it. And I talked to some teachers and then like some other parents about it and like got some teachers' perspectives on it. And they were like, yeah, they're like, you know, remote learning is difficult, but there should have been no reason as to why schools were open on Wednesday. Like it was just like this total. Like everybody was blown mm-hmm. away by it. So, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, da- down in, like, central Illinois, where I was from, I have friends there still. They had canceled school on Tuesday morning for, like, Wednesday and Thursday already. They already canceled yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because this was such a big storm, like, they could predict, which was another thing. It wasn't, like, a last-minute thing. Like, parents had time to plan, like, if they needed to mm-hmm. stay home from work or needed to make, like, you know get care for their kids while they go to work or whatever the case is like there was time because we were hearing about this over the weekend this storm coming in you know yeah yeah they've been talking about it for a while yeah so it's crazy I don't know. yeah and then today was supposed to be better but it literally snowed all day so the roads were still kind of like they were plowed and they were salted so it wasn't like compacted snow but it was still slippery so I'm just yeah. like, we should have been closed today too. I was aggr I was just aggravated by the whole thing, but Yeah. Whatever. Becca, oh, you never got just wild. You never got snow days, did you? Did you ever get was there ever a time where yeah. you like school could be called off? Did you get heat no. days? No, never. Really? And it's, I, yeah, and like the super hot months we were off of school, like June, July. August was pretty hot, but they never called school off for the heat. Like, we never had snow days, which I think snow days is, like, such a funny... It's just, like, such a funny concept that that's a thing. And, like, everyone's like, snow day. Everyone's off. You used, like, to, you used to only know that your school was off by the news. So I would yeah. sit my butt in front of the TV, and there was, like, a <laughs> scroll bar scroll at the bottom bar. of the news. <laughs> yes. And it was an alphabetical order, and they would just constantly update it. So you just, like, wait for, like, your yep. letter to come by. <laughs> Yep, that's, that's so what, crazy. That's what it still is. It's still like that. I mean, you could look online too, but yeah. But doesn't your school like can't they send texts to parents or emails? Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the only was thing another... that I was oh go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say the only thing that I was worried about was I had a gym class on Wednesday, and it got canceled. So I was like, look, checking their Instagram to see, it, and they canceled all their morning classes. So yeah, that's all. I this is my first snow day experience. I didn't have to go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have been able to get out of your driveway anyway. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Or my, you would have got stuck uphill. 
yeah or you i would have got like stuck. stuck you wouldn't have been able to come back home um yeah. but it's you know it's kind of disappointing because it's like those were fun days as a kid like snow mm-hmm. days were things that we would look forward to like every winter mm-hmm. and now with the pandemic this remote learning is in place and kids will never have snow days again because they'll have to go to school they'll just go to school remotely when yeah. schools close so mm-hmm. it's kind of sad i mean i don't know if that's all schools but it's definitely a cps thing from what i hear so it's like yeah bummer well i mean they didn't implement it this time so i don't know maybe they won't do that they oh, didn't but-, but if they called off school they would have called it a remote day and not a snow day oh, okay well yeah. like also don't you have to make up snow days at the end of the year yeah you do well Which if sucks. you go over a certain amount i think my school yeah. like we could we they built in like five snow days so but if you went right. over then you had to add an extra day yeah okay. but let me tell you something kids are not thinking about that in the winter they're like snow day yeah. you know yeah because yeah. it's already like i don't know it was fun it's fun it's totally mm-hmm. fun i mean i would i would have loved that but yeah there was never a reason for school to be closed like i'm trying to think like maybe if there was like really bad flooding like monsoon flooding oh but that yeah. never happened like i could see like in at university like august is a big monsoon month and the university would be so flooded the water would be up to your knees and they still wow. wouldn't cancel school really? yeah what? Yeah, they still wouldn't cancel classes. I think maybe one year they did when it was like really, really bad. But it was, I was going to the community college, but like all my friends were at U of A and they would say like, yeah, the water was up to my knees. Like I needed to wear like a full water suit, like to not get soaked. Yeah, it's crazy. That's crazy. You know, what's also kind of wild is that when I, when I was in grammar school, we didn't have, even high school, we didn't have air conditioning in our schools because we were off for summer break. Yeah. So the only time we would really have to deal with like heat and it could get really hot was like the beginning of June Ooh. or like open a window September. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. like those big box fans, like teachers would have those big box fans in the windows. Yeah. So so we like yeah it was it was really and i remember us being home from like a couple of heat waves like abnormal heat waves when i was a kid and that was kind of weird because it was like is the world ending you know Mm -hmm. but well yeah we didn't have air conditioning so when my kids started going to school i was like do you have air conditioning they're like yeah what do you think this is and i was like (laughs) i was like oh okay (laughs) sorry (laughs) That's called privilege, honey. Okay, that's called privilege. <laughs> this surprises me about your parochial school, your Catholic tuition school. Like, no, I know. no yeah. air conditioning. I know. Yeah. No, we sure didn't. God will keep that's you crazy. cold. God. There you go. <laughs> Just pray for some coldness. Yeah. Pray, pray for a breeze. <laughs> yeah that's the craziest thing i don't understand how well okay air conditioning is such an american thing as well which is so uh, wild is. because like i know countries uh, when i was in europe like nobody had air conditioning actually one apartment in italy had one of those things on the wall yeah like mm-hmm. the long ones yeah yeah, yeah. Saved my life because it was so humid and hot. Like, I thought I was going to die. We spent most of the time in that room. Seriously. Yeah. Like, probably two full days we just laid in bed in that room because it was so hot outside. It was unbearable. Yeah, it gets hot but, out like, there. I don't know why it's not a thing. I know. Well, it's just, it's, it's not, so, no. like, energy, it's so energy non-efficient and expensive. Yeah. yeah. But, like, yeah, I, I was living in, like, an Italian house for a couple weeks and when it would get hot, it was like scorching the first couple, like, let's say the first couple weeks I slept there. It was so horrible. But then my body got used to it. Right. That's what I was mm-hmm. going to say. Like, when you're living in it, like, it, yeah. you adapt, which is also yeah. wild to me. Like, people that live in Canada, like, I follow a few people that are in Canada, and they're, like, out in the snow. It's, like, 10 degrees. They're going on walks with their babies. And I'm, like, are you out yeah. of your mind? But it doesn't phase them. It doesn't, fa- and they're not even bundled up. I'm like, 
Okay. Yeah. I aspire to be like that, really. <laughs> I'm not like that. I can handle the cold much better than I can handle the heat. Much better. Uh, I'm not like that. Um, desert Your body's rat, adapted obviously. to Arizona, hasn't it, Adam? Yeah, but I've always liked to, like, I would rather go to sleep at night cold and bundle up with blankets than I would go to sleep hot and sweaty. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Okay, a question. Ignorant question from a woman to a man. <laughs> your your body just naturally is warmer than women's, just biologically, like your, you know, because your blood vessel placement or something. Like, do you feel hot all the time? No, but I, yeah, I don't know. When I sleep, I get, like, I wake up in the middle of the night and I have, like, a wet, like, sweaty back and stuff. I don't know what it is. That's this just is a weird so concept crazy. because I am always hot and like laying yeah. in bed. Jay is always free. Like he'll go to sleep in a hoodie sometimes because he's so cold. And it's yeah. I mean, I don't think that it's that it's cold. Like it's like sixty nine seventy, but like he he's always like, <laughs> sorry, Becca, I apologize <laughs> ahead of time. We'll we have a little space heater in your room when you come visit. <sighs> um, it's okay, I'll bundle up. I'll bundle okay. up. Okay. <laughs> um but he he's always so cold and in like like when we lay together he like he's like your body heat you are always freaking burning hot and i was like i don't i don't know i don't know why so i don't know so crazy yeah, yeah that's, that's weird. so wild I, I start throwing bows if like in the middle of the night steve like tries to come over and snuggle i'm like get the fuck away from me you are so warm like i can just feel it radiating and i'm like no <laughs> yeah is, yeah, is we he like a sleep don't. cuddler yeah, I am not. Uh, no, I have it's to. Like, s- neither I is have to sleep on my stomach, so that's not a cuddle position. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. Um. It. No, I'm not a sleep cuddler. Daniel doesn't like to cuddle while we're going to sleep, but sometimes in the middle of the night he'll start cuddling with me, and I'm like, this is so inconvenient. Like I've already gotten comfortable. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm already warm. Like I needed you when we first got in here, and I was cold. But <laughs> it's just crazy because like. We have a king bed, so like we and we both sleep on the very edge of the king bed, and our nice. dogs sleep in the middle. Like ugh, they're so <laughs> spoiled, but like I'll just move my feet over in his direction, and I just feel the heat radiating off of him. Like oh, what wow. the hell? Like that must be so nice. I'm so <laughs> upset. Like I am biologically dependent on this person, my husband, <laughs> thankfully. But so it's not that bad. But still, it's like. <laughs> If we were in an adverse situation, I would have to bund- like bundle next to him. I would have to. Yeah. yeah. What's with that? And Jay I would have to it. bundle to you, Nicole. Like, yeah, he needs me in his life, and that's just what it is. <laughs> well, personal. I have no heater. choice. Yeah. Well, we've been yeah. talking for about an hour and fifteen minutes. Look at this. The easiest hour and fifteen minutes I've ever chatted. Oh yes. yeah, it didn't even feel like that till I looked at my time, and I was like, oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. and the Winter Olympics are starting tonight. I forgot about that. Really? Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, where can I watch them? I don't have cable. Peacock. Really? Ooh. Yeah. But do I have it's to just, pay for Peacock to to be uh, able to watch yeah. it? Yeah, I don't know. I'll give you all I the. I'll give, give you my, the rundown. I can give you my Peacock stuff. Let me well, see. Yeah, you my did peacock. offer that. Peacock, your Peacock. But I feel. Cock. I feel bad. I. You know, is there a streaming service that you don't have that you want? <laughs> you shouldn't feel trade. bad because it brings a smile to my face when I pull up Paramount Plus and I see Becca with your little Dora the Explorer icon. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> Aw, she's on here. It's like we're hanging out kind of. It says Steve, at, Steven, Adam, Becky, Nicole. Nicole, you picked Peppa Pig. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Paramount Plus. Oh, Paramount Plus. Wait, I can't get into it. Can you text me the login information again? Then if I get your peacock, then I'm going to watch Yellowstone, I think. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. I, I was going to wait for Daniel, but he's not showing much interest, but I know it's a show he would like. So I'm just going to watch he, the first season and be like, you have to catch up. He would like it, right? Yeah, he would. All right. Well, guys, this is your PSA. So get on streaming services with your friends. They gave us profiles for a reason. Like, I don't know if it's actually breaking rules. Do you have to be in the same household, nah. technically? Nah. 
Stick Report it to the us. man. Fuck capitalism. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck capitalism. Stick it to the man. Neosis. <laughs> Do you guys know what that's from? No. No. I'm going to say it one more time. Stick it to the man. Neosis. Neosis. Neo. Uh, it's from School of Rock. Oh. oh, I've never seen School of Rock. <laughs> Me either. What? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Wait, my mic just my mic just peaked. I'm so sorry, Adam. I literally screamed. I didn't mean to. You ha- that is literally top five favorite, top three of my favorite movies. Best Jack Black performance by far. I was gonna say it's Jack Black, right? I love Jack Black. Jack Black, Miranda Cosgrove. Um, who's that woman? Jo- uh, not Joan. What's her name? Oh my gosh, she's in we're Raising to, Helen as well. What's her name? We're gonna have to watch it. Uh, I mean, school. it's a, it's definitely a classic. But it what is it about? Sarah Silverman, I think. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What is that teacher's name? Joan Cusack. Oh Cusack, okay. Cusack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it's about this guy named Dewey Finn, who is. <laughs> for all intents and purposes, a loser. Like, he's in this band that is not going anywhere. Um, He's, like, such a stage hog. He's always doing stage dives. Nobody ever catches him. Like, he's he's (laughs) terrible. Um, So he gets... He's roommates with his, like, old bandmate who has, like, moved on and is now, like, a substitute teacher going to school to be a certified teacher. And... His friend, like, gets a phone call to be a sub at this really prestigious, uh, I think, elementary, middle school situation, like, maybe a K through eight. And he pretends to be his roommate. Oh. And, like, yeah, to get money because he's broke. So he has to, you know, get money. He's, like, basically commits fraud or whatever. But, yeah. So, (laughs) yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. And it's really funny. And the kids are so cute. And, like, the cast has done like reunions before and they all like talk about how much Jack Black like made their life like getting to work with him was like the greatest thing ever and I'm like I hear he's a really good guy I love that man so much yeah anyway he's hilarious that's your guys's homework this weekend please go find a way to watch it it is so good I'm I swear School it is rock. a really good bu- uh, movie okay well watch I'm gonna it. I'm I'm gonna like follow up like that's how important this is to me I will be following up (laughs) (laughs) all right well let's make like an all-american reject and move along (laughs) so um we'll be creating a patreon within the next few weeks and we'll keep you posted on that Maybe, so that's maybe de- an OnlyFans. Oh. That's decided. <laughs> maybe an OnlyFans. <laughs> no. So that is decided. We're going to do it. We're going to do a Patreon. Well, we're going to ask and see what people think, but we'll probably get started. Yeah. Let's ask and see, see what, what they think. I'm I'm thinking maybe we can do this as an extra, like once a month or whatever, and then um, maybe a live, like an extra live for Patreons or something like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That would be really fun. We should definitely do fun. that extra yeah. content for our patrons i've never done yeah. patreon so i me think it would be fun. me neither me neither but okay guys thank you so much for listening to this uh chatty episode where we only talked about plants for probably five minutes but you already knew that so <laughs> we appreciate you and your friendship and um give us a follow on instagram so that you can keep up with what we're doing on potted together we love you guys so much and uh, I didn't talk about our personal Instagrams. Not dude. K N O T. Dude. <laughs> My clean leaves and de la plants. Yeah. De la plants. And we have a YouTube video coming out about macrame. Adam taught us a macrame lesson. So that's probably out by now. If not, it will be soon. That should be out two episodes ago. But hey, we'll roll with it. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> right. Oh, that's Monday. Shoot, I need to edit that <laughs> very cool okay so let's scratch that um clearly i'm I'm so messed up with the schedule honestly have no clue so and i'm over here thinking like maybe not talk about the video until you review the footage and think that if it's even gonna (laughs) be worth it it'll be fine we're gonna post it it's gonna be good it's gonna be good we're gonna post it no matter what okay (laughs) 
<laughs> okay, you guys. All right, friends. Thank you so much for listening. We will see you later. Bye. Bye. Gear Patrol calls their new dive watch the best sub $500 dive watch. Full stop. Men's Health rated them as the most stylish solar watch in the game. Who are we talking about? It's movement. They're leveling up your gift giving with the sleekest watches you can buy and the biggest deals of the season. From their innovative ceramic materials to sexy automatic divers, from ultra thin dress watches to solar powered statement pieces and everything in between, movement is making sure you're the good gifter this year for your family, your friends, or for yourself. And now you can take advantage of 30 to 50% off movement's California clean watches, jewelry, and accessories to get them a gift they'll never forget. With fast free shipping and returns and amazing bang for your buck, Movement makes for a relaxed shopping experience. And with one-size-fits-all watches, it's an easy, elegant gifting experience too. Shop 30 to 50% off now at MVMT.com. That's MVMT.com.